competitive side of wakeboarding is kind of been the same for years. This is going to be an event that is going to change all that. It's something that's been a long time coming for wakeboarding. Every event that they've done for us has definitely pushed our industry and got us to that next level that we wanted to be. And now this, it's huge. They came to us with the idea of trying to create something totally different to find the ultimate rider and you know it's taking the sport to a new level. We've actually got three different categories. You've got the big air, you've got the regular wake riding, and you've got the rail riding. It's totally different than anything else. It's gonna be insane. Thank you everybody for coming out here. The first day of the 2012 Red Bull Wake Open. The Blue Lake is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. This is definitely a wakeboarder's paradise for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your champion, Harley Clifford. I was really pumped to land that run. I went out in the first run and stuck a couple of good tricks. I'm really pumped to come out of the win. The event was awesome. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to do the next two cable events. So hopefully I can go out there and do some good things and come out with that overall title. The big air is, I think, going to be the funnest for the people to watch. Watching somebody huck themselves off a kicker and going as big as they possibly can, it's cool. And then there were four. We have made it to the final. This is it, the big air portion of the Red Bull Waco. Talk about having a trick on lock. That now becomes the mark to beat. This stokeometer is just redlining right now. One, two, wow, a 1080, the first one of those that we've seen. Rafael Durom on his second pass Whoa. goes into the lead with a 93.46. The judges are scratching oh. their heads saying, what did he just do? Oh, he two going for the double mob. Rafael Durham is your winner of the Red Bull Wake Open Big Air Competition. What is the mindset like for you now? Because you have set yourself up very nicely for the overall. Yeah, I'm really happy. I rolled really good in bow. I rolled good in kickers. And uh, so I got a first place and a third place. So it's really good. Hopefully I can maintain and get a podium to do it tomorrow again. These parks and these systems are able to bring the sport in places like downtown Tampa where most people would never think to wakeboard and all of a sudden we're sitting here having a world-class contest. Left here in Tampa Bay, make some noise! Nice! Back three to 50-50. Flawless! I would not want to be a judge right oh. now. He's clearly the best on the court oh, pipes and wow. shows right there. That was insane! Nobody's even touched that type of move. So at the end of the competition here, the park event, Rafael Durome once again finds himself on top of the podium here in Tampa. You're watching the Red Bull Wake Open. The whole concept of this Red Bull Wake Open is to crown an overall champion of our sport. The overall title is all about being well-rounded. It's about being the best. Your overall champion of the 2012 Red Bull Week Open, the freak, Rafael D. Rome. I'm out of words. I don't know what to say. It's amazing just riding here in Tampa in the middle of the city with so many people. I couldn't ask for more. The Wake Open's gonna really kind of open some doors in wakeboarding and action sports. Wakeboarding alive and well in 2012.